Wildfire smoke can cover thousands of square miles in North Dakota for several days. This can affect your breathing and health as well as the health of your animals. But our crops and plant life are impacted in a different way. And today's Eye on Ag and Energy, how wildlife fire smoke affects our state's agriculture. Eye on Ag and Energy on KX is sponsored by Lignite Energy Council. According to Pioneer.com, wildfire smoke can reduce sunlight and create ozone. Both are not good for crops. Crops need sunlight and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So a decrease in sunlight and an increase in ozone, which is oxygen, is not good for our agriculture. However, scientists say wildfire smoke can diffuse sunlight at times. This means sunlight can hit a patch of smoke and scatter beams in a lot of different areas, hitting parts of a plant or crop that usually do not get enough sunlight. Overall, it's important for farmers to learn about the pros and cons of smoke on our crops. At a very basic level, plants use photosynthesis to capture the sun's energy to grow, to create what we would call fuel, but it's basically the plant parts. Fire is the flip side of that. It's uh, from a chemical reaction, it's basically just the opposite reaction where the plants are yielding the energy that they've stored in the plant structures. Uh, what's given off by the fire is smoke. Some crops are also better in smoky conditions. Soybeans, a big North Dakota crop, handle haze and smoke better than other crops like corn. Simply because soybeans are typically smaller and lower to the ground than corn, avoiding lots of the neg negative impacts of smoke. 